Good morning everyone. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. P. Samuel, Assistant Professor of Biotechnology of Anjak, Suvakasi. So, in the tutorial, we will talk about gram staining. Uh, a very simple uh, technique in microbiology domain. Let's see how it uh, works out. Fine. So, let me change the layout of my presentation so that it is easy for me to work out. So to begin with uh, for gram staining uh, study. So what is actually gram staining? Uh, this staining procedure is given by uh, Sir Christian Graham. Sir Christian Graham was the man behind this uh, staining procedure actually. And uh, this technique help us to differentiate the bacteria based on the cell wall composition differentiation of bacteria differentiation of bacteria based on the cell wall composition right cell wall composition fine uh, see based <laughs> based upon the uh, composition of cell wall yes so based upon the composition of cell wall bacteria can be classified into two types number one is gram positive bacteria gram positive bacteria number two gram negative bacteria <coughs> gram negative bacteria <coughs> so these are the brief classification based upon the cell wall composition right very simple procedure let me explain it in a more simple way fine so let's uh, look into the steps one by one First, we, what we need for a gram staining procedure is a clear slide, right? So, let's take a clear slide and uh, ensure that the slide is free from impurities or any grease materials because sometimes even your fingerprint may be uh, may reflect it um, while observing the slide through the microscope, right? So, be aware that before using a slide in the gram staining procedure just clean it or just wipe it with a fresh tissue paper right second one what we need is a grown bacterial culture right so let me import uh, the image from my usb drive okay so bacterial culture is also very essential for the um, gram staining procedure okay let me take it out fine so imagine uh, this flask is containing 24 hours inoculated bacterial culture right 24 hours incubated bacterial culture bacterial culture and a clean slide okay so why 24 hours actually because we should provide some time for the bacteria to grow and multiply in enough number right and a clear slide okay so let me duplicate this slide right uh, now let me erase it and bring the slide towards the center okay and i'm going to uh, change the orientation of the slide so for that let me click uh, the 3d rotation and this is how i want my slide right okay so let me check it fine 
now this is my slide right and next thing what i want is i have to make a thin film of the bacterial culture which is taken from the incubated bacterial inoculum so for that i am using this tool right which will be very helpful for me to draw okay okay right i have prepared a smear right so let me choose this one or let me choose this one right okay so now you can ask sir um smear preparation smear preparation is a critical step in gram staining procedure actually because the quality of the result will be based on the smear preparation smear can be defined as a thin film of bacterial culture thin film right thin film of bacterial culture right so to prepare that we should be very careful right if it is thick in the sense we couldn't able to visualize the cells clearly through the microscope right so for that i have prepared the smear now you couldn't able to see anything because bacterial culture is transparent right bacterial culture is transparent okay remember that no bacteria is colorful it is colorless you are making the smear over a colorless background so you are you are unable to distinguish uh, the area so over which i mean on which the culture is being uh, spreaded right so in the next step let me make it a duplicate of the slide now i'm going to add a stain called crystal violet the first reagent used in the gram staining procedure is called crystal violet super crystal violet fine so to know that let me want to okay see this is how the smear looks like after it is treated with the crystal violet dye and this seems to be very thick in nature so i want to uh, minimize the color or minimize the intensity so for that let me uh, go to uh, the uh, formatting option and i can increase the transparency right i can increase the transparency this is very important here right or else i can do one thing right i can do gradient fill right this will help me this will help me okay so this is how the smear looks like it should be very thin see you could find uh, the difference right previously it is like this right it is very thick i told you the quality of the result is based on the thickness of the smear if it is so thick you couldn't able to view your result in a nice way so for that i'm changing the intensity right i'm changing the intensity of the uh, thickness of the smear for that i have to prepare a very thin smear of bacterial culture right super so let me duplicate it so in the next process let me wash the slide with uh, distilled water right distilled water distilled water so don't use tap water right don't use tap water so um, another thing i forgot to uh, tell you so after adding the crystal violet dye so uh, allow the slide to stand for 2 uh, to 3 minutes right allow the slide to stand for 2 to 3 minutes because during this time 
the dye gradually access into the cells through the cell wall right this is very very important step in the staining procedure right now let me come back to the uh, next step washing the slide with uh, distilled water so that the color adhered on the surface of the uh, cells become washed away right it becomes washed away right now it becomes so thin right the dye becomes washed away due to the treatment of uh, due to the treatment with the distilled water and in the next step after uh, treatment with the distilled water allow the slide to air dry for 2 minutes right air dry for 2 minutes air dry for 2 minutes right let me duplicate the slide again a third step here it is an important step in which you are going to add the third reagent called grams iodine which is otherwise called as mordant grams iodine it is otherwise called as mordant so after adding the mordant the color of your specimen becomes like this right it becomes like this addition of mordant mordant is grams iodine so allow this preparation for I mean to penetrate into the cell for two minutes right so let me uh, recap smear uh, the slide with the bacterial culture since the culture is transparent you couldn't be able to locate the exact position of bacteria in the slide leave it in the second step you are adding crystal violet right crystal violet is called the primary stain after adding crystal violet allow the slide to stand for two to three minutes after the stipulated time period wash the slide with distilled water and allow the slide to add dry for two minutes and in the next step add gram iodine mordant gram iodine mordant right after this step again wash the slide in the distilled water right wash the slide in distilled water uh, this is another uh, essential step right see so you could see the difference how the color looks like right because due to washing process again with water distilled water right the next step this is called the decoloration uh, step or de-staining procedure here you will use alcohol right alcohol this is the fifth chemical used here alcohol right alcohol is probably 70 percent ethanol 70 percent ethanol why 70 percent this is another important question sir why uh, why don't we use 100 percent to clean the uh, slide because diluted alcohol has more ability to access into the cell to penetrate into the, into the cell than the absolute alcohol so for that reason right we are using 70 percent alcohol to wash the slide to wash the slide okay fine so this alcohol washing is only for 30 seconds not more than that because extensive exposure to alcohol will definitely denature the smear will uh, will definitely uh, cause irreversible damage to the cell so to avoid that stick on to the time so in the next step again wash it with water wash it with water so that it becomes empty right it becomes empty again sixth step wash it with 
water washing is very essential right in the next step i'll duplicate it last step is very important here you are going to use another dye called saffronin saffronin a color coloring solution extracted from the saffron flower right uh, this is otherwise called as counter stain this is otherwise called as counter stain c o u n t e r counter stain got it okay so after treating the smear with uh, the counter stain right the overall appearance of the slide looks like this right looks like this let me reduce the gradient okay fine right and allow this dye to react with the, the cells for 2 to 3 minutes After 3 minutes, simply wash the slide, right, simply wash the slide, wash the slide with water, water. right air dry the slide air dry the slide and now observe the cells under microscope observe the cells under a microscope right this is a uh, interesting uh, step in the microscopical examination okay here let me change the color of right the specimen and uh, let me change the gradient also so there are two possible ways gram positive and gram negative right gram positive cells will be uh, the smear will be like this and gram negative smear will be like this so while this preparation is observed under a microscope right it will be uh, the final uh, result will be looking like this let me delete it everything and uh, okay imagine this as your microscopic field right this is your microscopic field and as you all know that while observing the cells through uh, the eyepiece and objective fees uh, the field will be like this it is bright right since there is no uh, specimen over there right once the microscope is mounted with slides you could see cells with different morphologies cells with different morphology for example let me uh, draw the cells like this right Okay, let me increase the number. Okay, super. Okay, so let me change the color. Okay, because sometimes it may lead to some misleading. The color won't be like this. Let me change the color of the cell. So for that, okay, gram positive cells, gram positive cell, and gram negative cell. This is gram positive rod cell. In case of gram negative rods, I mean gram negative cells, it will be like this. So let me choose the entire cells inside the microscopic field right 
entire cells in the microscopic field and change the color right color for example okay and let me change the gradient also okay right so this is how the cells looks like inside the microscopic field after observing through the microscope okay fine sometimes there may be a round shaped cells cocci right the cell will be like this okay the cell may be like this if a culture containing mixed if a bacterial culture containing mixed cultures a rod shaped cell cocci shaped cell then your result might contain two different types of bacterial culture okay so as i told you i just want to recap a few things gram staining is actually a very 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 simple procedure it will help you to differentiate bacteria based upon the cell wall composition cell wall composition gram positive and gram negative right and this is very very fundamental technique in microbiology just uh, check the presentation uh, i am sure we will meet in another video thanks for watching bye bye